Long-Term Test Review, Volkswagen Transporter Sport T-Line. First report, our video team get keys to their brand new daily workhorse and it's already getting stuck in. Verdict. 4 Star. Video is a huge part of everything we do at Auto Express and our film team are out in far-flung locations in all weathers getting the footage that populates our website, YouTube channel, and social media presence. It's a tough job and they need a tough vehicle which is why we called upon our 2016 van of the year, Volkswagen's Transporter, to fill the void as film team utility vehicle. The need to carry four people and an absolute mountain of heavy kit precludes most passenger cars from the role of AE film team runabout but the Transporter is a van that can take it all in its stride, at least that's the theory. We picked out the the five-seat Kumbai model in the Transporter's short wheelbase body steel and if you're worried that a commercial vehicle might be a bit spartan for conveying our much-traveled videographers in the manner to which they're accustomed, fear not. We've spec'd it to the max. In the plus column for this Transporter Kumbai is VW's 201BHP 2.0 liter bit D twin turbo diesel engine matched to a 7-speed DSG twin clutch gearbox and sporty line trim. Sport T-Line means this is the transporter at its plushest with satellite navigation, DAB radio, quilted leather seats, 18 alloy wheels and a rear roof spoiler. In the minus column is a list price of £46,000 that jumps close to £48,000 with the lead head and tail lamps, £1,662, a tow bar, £606, parking sensors, £318, an app connect phone integration, 150 pounds, added from the options list. So the transporter Kumbai is not cheap, but our first few weeks with the car have revealed it's nigh on perfect for the film team's particular needs. Out on film shoots for all of Dennis Automotive titles, they get to drive a lot of cars but even so, the transporter has stood out. The van is being used on a daily basis specifically for carrying the video cameras, kit, and crew to shoots. The film team's vehicle had to be reliable, versatile, occasionally able to tackle tricky terrain and roomy enough for a lot of expensive equipment plus a minimum of three crew, on that basis it's exceeded expectations. The transporter is very comfy to drive, the driving position has a wide range of adjustment for all shapes and sizes, its automatic gearbox is smooth and the steering is precise. The suspension is soft enough to film tracking shots out of the rear and the side sliding door has been perfect for easy accessibility to the cargo area. The forward visibility is particularly good and despite its size, the van is easy to maneuver with its optional parking sensors almost making parking a joy. The leather trim adds a touch of class to the cabin and so far, has coped well with the sometimes muddy, all-weather work. The fact that the rear seats can be really easily removed means that reconfiguring the van interior as it's needed is very simple, too. As the whole video team uses the van, it's been great to be able to sync phones to media center so we can communicate with base without pulling over or messing about with phone cradles. On its first day with us the transporter was thrown straight in at the deep end out on a chute with car rigs attached to it. It was sturdy enough to take our large movie rig and camera, as well as extra kit loaded behind the main camera setup. Since then it's worked extremely hard as part of the team and it hasn't disappointed yet. The next big adventure is only around the corner when the van is going to house our mobile broadcast unit on a London to Paris shoot so we'll keep you posted on how it gets on. Key Specs Model, Volkswagen Transporter Sport T-Line Kumbai 2.0 Bit DSG On fleet since, January 2017 Price new, £48,621 Engine, 2.0 liter twin turbocharged diesel, 201 bhp. CO2 slash tax, 168 g slash km slash pound 210. Options, lead headlights and tail lights, 
1,662 pounds, removable tow bar, 606 pounds, front and rear parking sensors, 318 pounds, app connect, 150 pounds. Any problems? None so far.